Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will explain you the syntax and usage of the time function in Excel. The Microsoft Excel time function returns a decimal value that represents the time in Excel. The decimal value returned by function is a value between 0 and 1. As times are stored as decimals in Excel that represents a proportion of the day. The value 0 represents 12 am and 23 represents 11 pm. Also, as we know that date and time both are two of the most common data variables users work with in Excel. And sometimes we receive data in raw forms where dates and times are displayed as numbers creates confusions amongst users. We'll go through each of the examples we have taken in this article to understand the usage of time function. Many times it happens that we get time components in different cells or we might have asked to combine time components from different columns to return a proper valid time in Excel. And this is where time function comes into the picture. In the first example, we have similar type of query where the time components are given in three different columns as hours, minutes and seconds in columns A, B and C respectively. And we'll get the desired output in column D. So we go to cell D12 and type time function and hit tab 2 to complete the function. As you can see, time function take three arguments in order to return the time value. The first argument is hour that can be supplied as a number from 0 to 32,767. If the supplied value is greater than 23, it will be divided by 24 and the remainder will be used as a hour part. But note, in case supplied value is less than 0, function returns number error. The second argument is minute and that too can be supplied as a number from 0 to 32,767. Seven. And in case if the supplied value is greater than 59 or less than 0, the time will be extended forward or back into the following or previous hour and minute. The third argument is second and just like previous two arguments, numbers from 0 to 32,767 can be supplied into the argument. And when the supplied value is negative or greater than 59, the time extends back or forward into the previous or following hour, minute and second. And all three arguments are required for the function to work and they can be supplied directly to the arguments, references to the cell locations or value written by any Excel formula. Alright, since we have elaborated all three arguments in detail, now we select the hour value in A12 first. Then B12 for minute value and in the third argument as second value we select C12 and hit enter. As soon as we hit enter we get midnight value that is 12 am in the cell as 0 represents midnight value and 23 represents 11 pm. So we drag the formula till D15 and here you go. We can see that the function has combined all the time components in order to return the proper time in valid format in cells. Okay, we scroll down and move on to the next example where we will see and return the time value when hour is greater than 23. As you can see cell A24, 25, 26 and A27 have the values which are greater than 23. So we go to cell D24 and enter time function and take all the required components in required order the arguments and hit enter and the moment we hit enter we can see the cell d24 has returned 1 am while the cell a24 has the value 25 as we mentioned in the beginning if supplied our value is greater than 23 it will be divided by 24 and the remainder will be used as the our part and here if we see cell A24 has value 25 and when we divide 25 by 24 we get 1 which represents 1 m and there is no value in minutes or seconds component hence the function return 1 am as the answer in cell D24. Just we drag the formula till D27 and we can see that all our values which are above 23 have been converted into the actual hour value and function return valid time in respective 
cells. In the third example, we'll see what happens when minute value supplied is less than zero or greater than 59. As we can see, the first row of the third example has zero value as our component, 68 as minute component and 10 as second component. And when we take these components in the argument to the function and hit enter, function return 1 hour 8 minutes and 10 seconds as the answer in cell D36. But how? That's because 60 minutes are equal to 1 hour. So 1 as our value added to our component, rest 8 minutes are considered as minutes and seconds as seconds, hence function return 1 hour 8 minutes and 10 seconds as the answer in cell D36. But when we copy and paste the formula in D37, function gives us 8 hour 39 minutes and 59 seconds, whereas we have 9 as the our component in cell A37, 21 as a negative value for minutes component and 59 as seconds in C37. And because of negative value of minute component, the time extends back into the previous hour and minute as function return 8 hours 39 minutes and 59 seconds as output in cell. All right, we copy and paste on the function in D38 and D39 as well. Now we move on to the next example where we'll see what happens when second is supplied as negative or greater than 59 value. Similar to the previous example, the time extends back or forward into the previous and following hour, minute and seconds. And same we can see in the cells returned by formula. In the last and fifth example, we will see and talk about when and what errors occur while using time function. There are two types of error returned by time function which we will discuss in this example. Okay, so we first go to cell D60 and enter time function. In the first argument, we select A60 which has negative value, then B60 and C60 in the next two arguments and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function returns number error. That's because the our component cannot be less than zero or cannot evaluate to negative time, hence function return number error in the cell. And when there is any text supplied in the argument, instead of number value, function returns value error. Well, this is how you can use time function with different methods and can debug the errors as well. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well. That's all for now. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.